handshake problem is a classic problem in math. I really like it. The basic problem is this. There is a certain number of people in a room and they all shake hands with each other once and you have to figure out how many handshakes would result. The way that I, I traditionally do it is with the Supreme Court. They all shake hands with each other exactly once. And so that's the way I frame it, asking about a group of nine. So from the people in the room, what answers do you think it is? 36. I hear 36. Do I hear any other answers? 72. 72. Do I hear any other answers? 45. Who said something? 45. 45? Uh -huh. OK. I'm sorry? I have 45. Any others? So just to get us back in the conversation, this actually was an answer that came up that isn't coming up now. The answer for the group of nine is 36, the 36 handshakes, um, which is different than what most students are going to say 81 or 72 right off the bat. Students will get 81 or 72 just by doing a tiny little bit of reasoning, but really they're just either multiplying nine times nine or nine times eight. What I like about it is it really kind of emphasizes the importance of making visual something, right? Either in a picture or a chart or a table because that's not the right answer. And there are different ways to help students see that neither of those answers work. And so if nine people each have nine handshakes, nine handshakes, nine, so to write that out, so the nine justices, the first one's going to shake nine hands, the second one nine hands, nine hands, nine hands, nine hands, nine hands. Everybody's going to shake nine hands, and if you total that all up, that's going to be nine times nine, 81 handshakes. So somebody raise your hand and talk to me. Why is it not 81 handshakes? You yeah, can't Roxanne. Shake your own hand. So you're only shaking eight people's hands. I can't shake my own hand, so I'm only shaking eight people's hands. Yep. Because you make the ninth judge, so you, you're not shaking your own hand, so you're not actually shaking nine people's hands. You're shaking eight people's hands. So that would look silly if I was shaking my own hand. So you're saying each person can't shake their own, so if you take yourself out, how many people are left? Eight. eight, so it's eight, eight, nope, eight. No, no, oh. no. Oh, wait, wait, hold. Jeez. <laughs> so that would be 72 handshakes, right? And that was what a lot of people did on Thursday, right? They started with 81, and then they had that same realization, oh, wait, you can't shake your own hand, so then it's one less, so then it's 72. So we've got a couple of different answers up here. Now what I'd like to do is look at those answers, but also look at the strategies that people use to come up with those answers. And the confusion comes from the fact that students are thinking purely abstractly. A really important problem solving strategy in general that I want to get out of this activity and other activities where we're looking at problems like this is to whatever is happening here to put it down on paper because that is going to allow me to see their thinking, but more importantly it allows them to find their thinking. Tell us what you got there. Um, what I did was eliminated the one that went first. Because after you shake the eight people's hand, um, the other person would be shaking seven. Because they already shook the first person's hand. So I did it like that. OK. And so how many is that? Um, I got 45, but it looks different. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, how many is that right there? Yeah, so now talk us through your graph. With problem solving strategies, I want to do two things. One, I want to help them develop some tools for perseverance and something you need for perseverance is something to do to keep that struggle productive, right? You need strategies. The other thing that you need is, is independence and confidence. And in, in terms of, am I there yet? Is this the answer? Or do I need to do more to convince myself? What I did was the first judge shakes nine hands, which should have been eight. Um, and then the second one shook eight, third, seven, four, six. Like that, then I just added it up. Okay. Does anyone have any? So, does anyone have any questions for Natasha? Because she's got two different strategies. There are two different answers. But but you stand by the one on the right, right? Actually, no, because um, as we just talked about, 
You can't shake his own hand. So I should have started with eight instead of nine. Okay, so can so change your picture. The first judge shaking eight people's hands instead okay. of nine. So when I ask if you guys have a question for her, what I'm asking is, do you understand everything that she has there? We understand. We understand. Okay. So, so not necessarily agree, but we understand. What understand. She okay. So first thing, and you're gonna come back, but but take a seat. <laughs> so, I want to test that. A shakes hands with eight people, so that's the same. Raise your hand if you can tell me why does B shake hands with seven people? Because you eliminated, you eliminated the ninth person. And, yeah. But I you already eliminated the ninth person, right? Because yeah, I didn't shake my people. own hand. You eliminate, you eliminate one as, as you shake a hand. Because right. if not, they're going to shake twice. Nine shakes nine times. Eight shakes. But I don't have, not, I don't have anybody shaking nine times. Here. Nine shakes the, eight. The ninth person shakes eight people's hand. Then you eliminate one. So eight, eight people, people shake, shake seven. seven. You start limiting by one. So now let's look at this picture, right? And I really want to know what people think about how this picture works. So first of all, what is this A, B, C? What's A through I here? Nine P, nine judges. Those are the nine judges. What are these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Shakes. Yeah, shakes. Okay. So what is this first box? First of all, let me actually, why is there not a box here? Can I shake his own hand? So, it goes to the next person. The, that represents self. The first judge not shaking his own hand. So this is the fact that that person can't shake their own hand. Yeah. Can I do this? But I'm doing it in red because I want to ask first. And I'll erase it the second you tell me no. Because I think that helps me see what you're saying. Because I didn't know the answer. Oh. right? So if you're saying this box, this space represents where A and A. Mm -hmm. So you can't shake your own hand, so I'm going to leave that out. Mm -hmm. oh. So then the, the box that I actually colored in, in red, what handshake is that? The handshake. The Between? Yeah. The, the first person mm -hmm. and the first handshake. Shake. So this handshake, if I wanted to, is the handshake between the first person, which is A, and who? And B. And B. And B. Is that true, Natasha? Natasha. Yes. Right? So that this is the handshake between A and B, because A can't shake A's hand. So the first person, A, would shake is A and B. B. Yeah. So then what would this box be? So it's going to be A and C. A and C now. So this is A and C. Fabio says, Fabio, why do you say that's A and C? Because you assume the... Let's say A is myself, so I'm going, to, I'm going to talk to Roxanne, I'm going to shake her hand, so she's C. Okay. And then T is going to be, I'm going to be A, and T is going to be D. D. And then Miyako is going to be E. E. Mm -hmm. So it's A, so these are A's all the way across. Oh, yes. Right. So the first person shakes hands with how many people? Eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Why is this spot blank? This spot right here. She skipped it because she's using the same as A. Like um, B cannot shake his own, his own hand. Mm -hmm. So he's going to shake, she put, I think, seven people. So here is where B and B, you can't shake your own hand. Why? And she's not putting that she's shaking A's hand. Why not? Because, because she's already shook. Yeah, but yeah, because right? she already shook it. Okay, so, so the first again. one, the first one, the fir person A, you eliminate one handshake. Why? Can't shake, can't can't shake hand. your own hand. So B, you cross off two handshakes. Why? Because A sits down and B can't shake its own hand. Right, so you so no still can't shake your own hand, but you also already shook. So C, didn't shake takes out three handshakes. Yep. Yeah. A, what are those three handshakes? A, B, and So itself, yeah. right, C and C. And C a, and B a, and a and already happened, and A and C already happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then that would be one, six. two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. So then the next one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. 
That's, That's it. it. One. There's That's no it. One. There's no one. Now, why is there no one? Thirty-five. No. It's thirty-five. You can't. One. One can't be there at all. Yeah, but y'all only put So this is the question. Eliminate. Okay. That's the question. So let's keep it a question, and let's have Miyako. Will you show yours? Now Miyako has a strategy that's similar to this one, but it's different in some ways, and we're going to talk about those differences. But I want to look at a couple of other strategies to figure out this question: Does this one go here or not? Second strategy was Miyako, and hers was similar. She also drew a chart. First of all, she got the, right, the correct answer of 36. Natasha's method was hard, because it was hard to draw, because she drew boxes. Whereas Miyako, she represented the handshakes just by a single number one. And so I just thought visually it, it was nice. 35 or 36? 35. 35 would mean we erase this. 36. 36, 36 would mean we put it back. Yes, yeah, 36. 36. Raise your, so let's now, now let's start to get democratic. Raise your hand if you say it's 35. Raise your hands high. 35, I had two people. 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I've got nine people who say it's 36, but I'm not hearing why yet quite yet. So I want to get one more strategy up there, OK? Thank you very much. Ron Lee? So then uh, Ron Lee was the third student I had come up. And he didn't put one up on the board. He was like, I'm going to use Miyako's and kind of say what I think is helpful for the conversation. What he added to Miyako's, which I thought was really nice, was, was a row of zeros, each of which represented you not shaking your own hand. The A goes to shift to the B. A to the C, A to the D, A to the E, A, F, G, H, I. And then the B, we go, we only want to shift our own one uh, hand, that's why I put zero. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna B, C, B, D, E, F, G, H, I. And then the C and the, and the following the same thing. So the H is I put one, because they already go to shaking with the rest of them. If I put one right here, it means that we're gonna shake our own hand again. So, that's why I put zero. Is it clear? <laughs> I think it's clear. So he's trying to convince you two, right? Because you two are the 35. So what do you think about, what questions do you have for him? Do you still disagree? Okay, so what Maybe I'm not figuring it out because of the chart. You know, I'm not pretty good at charts. So, so good. So I'm glad you said that there's one more strategy that I want to put up here. Okay. Thank you very much. Ms. Angel? Angel was a fourth strategy. He drew nine stick figures, represent, each representing the judge, and then the charts were good, but I wanted there to be some debate within them. And so I thought, in some ways, the concrete is a way of helping resolve some of those debates. That's seven, and so on and so forth. So okay, talk us, through, talk us through it slower. Okay, <laughs> so, so um, uh, the sixth person shakes hands. I mean, the seventh person shakes hands with the remaining six, mm -hmm. right? And then the sixth person shakes hands with the remaining five. The five shakes hands with the four. It's four. The four shakes hands with the three. Mm -hmm. The three shakes hands with the two. And the two shake, shakes hands with the... No. No, that's it. Mm -hmm. 35. No, 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 I'm sorry. One, yeah. One, two, I don't have my paper, so I can't. You only have eight people there. What do you mean? I there are only eight stick figures. Oh, I counted nine. Sorry. There you go. And now the zero. So now that's thirty six. Yeah, thirty six. So I just added up the handshakes. I got thirty six. Equals thirty six. I wanted him to actually draw it out. Right? And it gets messy quick. But it does allow you to see the eight, the seven, the six. And I wanted to do that because his strategy, I thought, would put to bed the debate about whether or not you count that last handshake, um, which it did. It seemed like that was the thing that convinced people. This person is shaking hands with eight people. Mm -hmm. You can see it that way. And then he was like, so on and so on. I was like, no, 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 show me. What does that mean, so on and so on? And he was like, OK, well, then this person, where are these seven handshakes? One, two, three, four, five. Six, 
Seven. So that's seven handshakes. Then it got messy, but <laughs> he didn't have color markers. So the next person, they're going to shake hands with one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this person's going to shake hands with one, two, three, four, five. So now the fourth person shakes hands with one, two, three, four. I'm sorry, the fifth person shakes hands with four. The one, two, three, fourth person shakes hands with one, two, three. This person shakes hands with one, two. This person still has that one handshake left, right? They haven't shook this person's hand yet. And then this person, why did, how come they have zero? How come they don't shake anybody's hand? Right? All of those dots, all of those lines leading into them are, are handshakes, right? So they actually have shaken hands with everybody. So here are one, two, three, because really, it was really not, actually, it was really nice how Ron Lee added his thinking to. Miyako's picture, because it's different, but it, it's sim very similar. And then we have Natasha's two strategies that she shared. So we got a bunch of different strategies there. I want to talk about the answer. What, what is the answer? Who just said, give us the answer? You give yourselves the answer. Is it 35? No. Why not? Oh, Roxanne said no. Why not? Because uh, I didn't add the other person. All right, keeping track of the other person. Raise your hand if you think it's 36. Raise your hands high. Yeah. The handshake problem is a problem for students to start to develop their problem solving strategies. One of the themes of this class is I want students to have some place to go when you look at a problem and you're not sure what to do. And I think the handshake is a nice one to start with because it draws out a lot of problem solving strategies. Mm -hmm.